Hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays, I'm Simon and today we're playing one of the best remakes of all time, the remake of Resident Evil 2. I uh, haven't played this in a long while, so we'll go I guess uh, in the original uh, there were differences between going first and second with each one, actual differences that made uh, story changes. Uh, I think layer A, Leon B was uh, canon, so I'll go for layer A even though it doesn't make much difference in this game. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, it'll sink to teeth in the middle. I should have somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. Man, the graphics in this game are amazing. I'm so hyped. She looks so fresh, right? She doesn't look like a zombie. Yeah, I'm almost there. I'm pretty sure they missed that. You know me, I'll be fine. When making the game. Sounds Forgot good. to color her face I'll be or back something. As soon as I, find Chris. I will, but I gotta go. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? Hello? Man, this game looks nice. We're playing on PC with every setting maxed out. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? I love the lighting system in this game. Are you okay? Wait here. I'll check it out. Uh, why doesn't he say? <laughs> like, don't go in there. Instead of pointing us towards it, I can hear a scuffling. Excuse me, is everything okay? Stay back, man. I got this. Get off him! I said, get off him! Like, look at the zombie's face and compare it to the zombie that the tracker hit. Don't come any closer. 
Okay, we need him to fall down. Okay, that's it. And then we'll grab this ass, I mean key. To the storage room, okay. Let's keep right past him. Use it here. You go the other way, the door is closed and cannot be opened the way we came. We pretty much have to go this way. The zombie drops in here, which makes things... A nightmare. Okay, now we can pass. So, killing zombies in Resident Evil 2 is pointless. We'll get back to this. Whoa, don't shoot! Get down! We gotta get out of here. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. We <laughs> should. Close escape. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. And you are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. So as I was saying, killing monster, killing zombies is uh, mostly pointless because uh, they don't drop anything. You're just wasting your ammo. The best thing you can do is shoot either on the knees or the face until they uh, stagger and then run right past them. In some occasions, you should kill them if it's an area that you know you're going to be coming back to often. Like, look at the cinematic, guys. Like, oh my god. It's so nice. Encompasses the feeling of a town overrun by death. So good. So well, so well. well look at this. Attention all citizens, due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Yeah. I guess. Looks like we're walking from here. Thank God to swear. 
If he had smacked right into us, it would be over. Well, this doesn't look much better, does it? Yeah. Oof. Got blasted. Claire! Claire, you okay? Yeah! I'm alright! How about you? I can't stay here! It's not safe! Oh shit. Yeah, run. I'm at the station, run. Go on ahead! I'll meet you at oh, the station! Oh, come on. <laughs> the name of that guy. <laughs> anyway. Can't stop. Gotta keep moving. Okay, so we need to run to the station, avoiding all these... Zombies. It's like the end of the world. Yeah. Which are everywhere. Let's reload the weapon since okay. The police station. Ah, uh, look. Almost there. Man, this game looks amazing. Like uh, the Ari engine in general makes amazing looking games. <coughs> Capcom really outdid themselves with this engine. So we give a wide berth to this guy. We come back this way, this way. Yep. RPD. Uh, there's pile of bodies, piles of bodies. Anybody here? Anybody? Some ammo. We can leave this here. Drop a quick save. Come on, Chris. Where are you? Oh shit. They're inside too. David. I should help this guy. Okay. So we have a map. Uh, black is unexplored. Red is... Uh, there's still something here. This, this means blockage. This means accessible door. This means locked door. This means unknown door. I don't know what that is all about. Okay, so let's look around this room since the map says there's still th staff to be found and yeah, lo and behold, first aid spray. We won't go upstairs yet, there's no need to, we'll look around here, yeah there's a puzzle here, in loving memory of those who served with the valor of lions, the nobility of unicorns and whose only <laughs> made sacrifices pure as the maiden of old uh, yeah I don't know what's that all about how do you quantify unicorn bravery or whatever uh, yes it's time is about items I want to see the map so there's more stuff it says in here I don't know where but anyway probably upstairs now see this lock door now shows that it requires the spade key so we know it's a spade door because we try to use it Will this show what it requires, or will it just say block? Yeah, it says taped box. Okay. So we should interact with stuff, just if anything, just to get uh, the map updated. Okay, keep out. Can we open this? 
Mm. This looks dark. Great. Where are you? So the guy we are looking for, he was, yeah, it's flashing to show us where we need to go. He was here, right in this corridor. It, the camera was in this corridor. So I guess that's our way there. There's a fuse box. A fuse is missing. Oh, place is flooded. This is locked. Sightings. Yeah, lots of dead and missing people. Sounds coming from that door. Oh man, the atmosphere of this game. Yep, there's nothing here. Focus, Claire. Focus. Where's all this water coming from? Hmm. There's a zombie guy here. He's probably dead, right? Lights are working. Yeah, he's dead doesn't react or at least yeah doesn't react yet a boom box yeah, I don't see anything else in here does the map think there is something else in here no the map agrees there's nothing else in here Stairs. Well, the stairs are blocked. The women's bathroom. Ah, that's where the water is coming from. Okay. Can I stack them? No. That's fine. There's nothing in here. Nothing back here. Oh, Claire doesn't appear in the mirror. Ah, that's sad. That's sad. Oh, well, yeah, that's the way I came. So this is the way I, I'm going now. Oh, oh my More God. dead people. Ah, this requires the Ari classic. Open up. The bolt cutter. Hurry. All these people Open are dead, or oh, whatever. This door? No. This is locked. So I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm here! Open the door! Hurry up! Hurry up! Open it! Here, give me your hand! Help me! Hold on! Give me your, give me your other hand! Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's telling us that below the goddess statue there is a way that leads through uh, some unknown location to the parking lot and that's a way out. And I guess we need to find these three statues to get the emblems for the goddess statue here. The medallions, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing we're not going that way. Uh, wait for him to come inside, then do this, and run right past him. So there is one tricky bit here. Yeah, two guys spawn, and if you stick to the right, yeah, baby, you go through them. You're usually gonna get through them. 
as it's obvious I know this game I'm not the best at it I'm not a speedrunner I I can't do it on hardcore difficulty without ever dying I need practice for that but another game you all right yeah you're safe for now Okay, that was a close call. Thanks. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah, I know how to take care of myself. Come on. <clears throat> Maybe you can tell him your name, too. So nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories, but all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, hey keep that on, just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You're really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Mm. Vacation? That's... that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> hey. Uh, hey. We should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, 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 forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now, you'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're going to... And be careful. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. Okay, so he's given us the knife. We can ready and slash, but it has durability. Yep. But it has durability, and you can use the counter attack enemies when they get you. So, um, oh, why is the game? Frame rate, I'm not getting it. Yep, a green herb. Uh, is the frame rate gonna fix itself? Is it the room or what is this? Uh, okay, let's try something. Oh. Does it fix itself? I think it fixed itself. Okay. Oh god. Something seriously wrong with the frame rate at this point. I'm gonna try to get the next save point and then reload the game, I guess. Oh, what's that? A Wolverine get through here? Oh, it's a broken window. Oh. Nope. 
me alone. Record, record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens the top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe, we believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th, that's one day afterwards. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our co com equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. <coughs> September 27th, there was another class on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. 12 people died and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here, David Ford. Okay, don't know who this David is. Police station of oh, the first floor, okay. This is the floor we are at. There's no floor zero. Oh! Okay, I see bullets there, but he's coming here, and I know we'll be back, so I won't bother right now. We'll come back into this place. Now, I know some people will consider this a mean joke, but take a load of this fat fuck. Still trying to get into the... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the vending machine. Okay, so... Uh, remember when I said that you generally don't want to kill enemies? Well, here you want to kill enemies. Because they're gonna swarm you in this room. And you're gonna have a tough time if you don't. Plus, we've saved so many bullets from not killing all the others. That we can afford to do this. Okay, that's a comfortable way to die. I think this guy will also wake up. Yeah, he will also wake up and come inside the room. What the fuck? Yeah, see, they drop nothing. They're not supposed to drop anything. So, where stops? Wait, what? Yeah, see? So, as soon as you go into this room, I think they trigger to start moving towards it. And But they don't come instantly. So then you get caught up in... Yeah, so that door, your way out of here, that door is locked. So if you come in here and then they start swarming you in here, you're kinda trapped. Uses of gunpowder. Handgun ammo, two gunpowder, acid rounds, submachine gun, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. So handgun is just two simple gunpowders. Okay. There's this chest here, uh, chest, vault, I don't know. It's in the west office, we need to remember this in case we find the code. <coughs> yeah, I knew. Oh. Like, he's got no face, how's he still coming? Okay, now he literally has no face. Okay. What? Okay, remember there's a file there? Who is coming? Oh wait, I thought I killed him. Okay, come on. Oh, I meant to open the door for him and... He got grabbing me. God damn you. So yeah, you see this is a nasty trap. Because he would also get up at this point and by the time you're done with this guy he's also behind you and the fat guy is also coming 
I'll have mine at Black Blizzard, thank you. Yeah, and this guy, I guess we can also... Oh! Okay! <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> okay. That happened. Okay, so this is locked. It's uh, this is the the other side of the spade door, right? We were in the main hall before. There's the spade door to the west office. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officer's name, but if names, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Brana. Oh, Marvin. Scrolled in a corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. So, yeah, this was Leon's first day coming to RCPD. Welcome, Leon. You see there is a gap there? That's because in the original Resident Evil 2, back when it released in 1998 or whatever, Welcome was spelled with two L's because localization was bad. So they they left that gap in homage to that and also there's a second L right here below the folder. So let's read the folder. Operation report. September 10 to 28, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. So the previous file we read, there were like a group of survivors three days ago at September 25th. And by September 28th, it's just three of them. We're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there is a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I guess Phillips is the one we found cut in half. I brushed her out. Oh, no, it's not. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. So may maybe Elliot is the one we found cut in half. So Elliot Edward, that's an E. David Ford, that's a D. I'm guessing we need to learn there. Oh wait, three? And there is no E? Okay, is there another office I missed here? Ah, right. <sighs> Neil Carlson. Wait. Is there a zombie here? Why is he making noises? What's with the music? So that's an N, E, D. N E D. Okay. Uh, Ned. Okay, that's correct. And let's see the other side. Oh, Marvin. Rita. And who's here? Who's the guy we? <laughs> Did this too. Well, his name is not visible, but does it really matter? We know two of them, right? Marvin and Rita. I'm guessing Marvin, Rita, and now we need to try. Yeah, let's see. Oh, speed loader for an SLS 60. Is that the one we have? Yes, an SLX 60. So let's combine this to this. And what is it do exactly? Greatly decreases reload time. What kind of weapon is this? Oh no, wait. No, don't combine it, examine it. It's such a weird gun. It's so small. But okay. It doesn't matter with guns, I guess. Bullet is a bullet, no matter what. 
So there's definitely a zombie somewhere. That's got an up. Is it the fat guy? No, it's another guy that's from the same. Was it the guy that was out here? How many times am I gonna have to kill him? Like, what is that? Okay, there's different lockers here. That we need to unlock. 102, 103, 106, 109, they all have items. We need something here to unlock the grenade launcher, I guess. Is yeah, yeah, that's a noob tube, all right. That's grenade launcher. 208, 203. Oh, that's extra inventory space. Okay, something tells me. Okay. Yeah, we're missing the 2 and 3 button. We cannot press this for some reason. Clearly the switch is still there, you can press it, but... So we need one and anything above 3. So like 6 and 9. 106, 109. 106. That unlocked it. Okay. And 109. I'll also unlock that. I don't, I don't think we need anything else. Yeah, the side 2 is inaccessible entirely. Because there's not 2 button. What's this? Film roll. Commem. What does it say? An undeveloped roll of film. Commemorative. An undeveloped roll of film commemorative is written on it. Did the tooltip update when I read it? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So let's go. Ah, oh, shit. Is she gonna break in? Oh, no. okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, shit. It's not. How are we gonna handle this? Okay, tell you what, we'll run in here. We'll use the box fast. We'll drop the first aid. We'll run back out. We'll grab this. And are we fast enough? I think we're fast enough. Yes, we are fast enough. We'll block this window. So now even if it breaks through, she cannot get through. If he breaks the window, he cannot get inside, I mean, English, which is hard. Okay, so, here we are. Ah, light. Red herb, I'm guessing, yeah, combining items. We can combine this with this, get green and red, will fully restore your health. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. So, do I need to turn off the light to develop the film? Will I? No, I do not destroy it by doing this. Commemorative photo. Okay, so the statue needs. Is that Charlemagne or something? The crown looks very HRE like. Okay, so that was the roll of film used up. It's good, it's good. What's this? Medicinal benefits of herbs. <laughs> Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Blue and red gives you extra HP, huh? Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. 
Okay, so blue and red. We need to find the blue and the red to increase our health pool. This more gunpowder. Okay, tell you what, I'll store the gunpowders and I'll also store these because we can mix them with other stuff and get them to be better. I'll just take a single first aid spray with me. Yeah, inventory management is very important in this game. There's gonna be a lot of backtracking for it. So, if I turn off the light, is there anything different in here? No. There's nothing... Can I take a look at these photos? I can't see anything important. Or even relevant. For that matter. Okay. Thank you all for joining me for this first episode. I'm, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.